Hello, this is Mark DeGallier. Today we're going to start a NetMeans tutorial so that you can install it on any computer, Mac or PC, and use it as your IDE for doing PHP, JavaScript, and other things, including debugging and uh, database connections and SVN version control, things like that. The first thing you do is go to netbeans.org and you see they have a download button right here for the latest version. Download that for your operating system and choose the things that you're interested in. Uh, most people use this for Java and C, but I use it mainly for HTML and PHP and JavaScript. So I think I am just going to download this one and it starts right away and it starts downloading. We'll be back in a minute and start the install. Okay, so it's finished downloading. Start installing the program. So we're going to install NetBeans with the PHP configuration. I think the uh, default locations are fine for most people. You want to check for updates. We'll be back when this is finished installing. And we have the NetBeans IDE on the desktop. And here we have a blank IDE layout. Now I'll show you how to set this up for PHP projects. This is the project, creating a new project. This is for creating a new file, but we want to start up a new project. And here it gives uh, the types of projects you can start. So we'll start with PHP. Okay, we're going to make a PHP application and I want to run it from the remote server. I like running from the remote server because it doesn't require me to get something working locally and then upload it and have any surprises on the new system. So I just save everything remotely. I don't need to install XAMPP or have some local installation of PHP and Apache. So I'm going to call this for a school project. Um, the alone PHP class. Go next. Project URL is what we would be using at the school. And we need to create a remote connection. Okay, so the host name So make sure that the initial directory uh, starts with a slash home slash your username slash public underscore HTML That will make sure after you're logged in by FTP that all your files will go into your class page folder Okay, great. Upload directory. This will go into the markd slash public HTML directory by default. So we can leave this blank. So it went to the server and it found I had a bunch of files there already. And we can just download them. And it will put them in our projects folder. This may take a while, so we'll be back. Okay, so the NetBeans has downloaded 
all of the files off of my class page folder and put them in the project source files folder. So if I open up the index.php, I have some test uh, code going on here. If I make a change, like just enter a new line, make a comment, the index file became bold because it needs to be saved. If I just do a control S, you'll see down here in the output window, it saves it to the uh, server. It did get saved, and we can verify that by hitting uh, the play button up here. And it goes to my folder and runs the index.php. Here you can see, hello world. Okay, so let's talk about some of the advantages of using NetBeans, and I'll just show you a few of the features. The main thing is uh, code completion. So if we wanted to include a file, it pulls up from the database of PHP functions. It tries to anticipate what you're trying to type, so you can just type part of the function and it will give you choices. So, and then you can just enter the finish the, the function requirements. Another thing is if we did an if statement it automatically puts in the closing parentheses. Uh, if I start with uh, start a variable it lists all the variables that are available in this file at this time. So I'll just say test. And then with the curly bracket it will also close that down below so you're ready to put your statements in the if statement. One thing that I think should be mentioned first is the ability of NetBeans to do PHP syntax checking on the fly. So you don't have to wait to run your code and then get these cryptic error messages wondering what's wrong. So if you have just a simple error like no semicolon at the end of a statement, it tells you that there's a problem. You can either see the red exclamation point here and then a, a hint of what it could be and you can see the errors down the side of the file in red. So if you click on the red, it takes you right to the error. And this one's pretty easy. You can see that it's, it's an unexpected statement after this. So if you add that, you fix the problem. Or if you forget to close a curly bracket, you'll get a error also. If you want to comment something, you can select the whole area and click a commenter. Later you can come back, select everything that's commented, and uncomment it. Uh, if you have a really long script, you can put a marker there. So you have a marker, and then let's say you're down here several pages, you want to go back to that marker, just go back up with this button and it jumps where you had a marker. We have find and replace, uh, all the usual functions. Another nice thing about this, you can go to your history and find what, what has changed since a uh, certain time. So this is our current file, and this is the file as it was yesterday. I think those are the basics for working with PHP and NetBeans. Um, in the next video, I'll we'll just go over some plugins that you can add so you can do more advanced things with PHP, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, adding uh, plugins for Cordova to make mobile apps, to add JavaScript libraries like jQuery and AngularJS. Well, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks.